everybody. Welcome back to the crossover. <laughs> I'm Taylor Wilson with me always. And, uh, Casey Wilson, John Lang, uh, he's out today. He got married today. Yeah. All right, good. good. So yeah, uh, John's out. Yeah, we'll, we'll get back to that in a little bit. Um, we got a lot to talk about today. Hey, some first this with Scripture of the Week. Our Scripture of the Week brought to you by our proud sponsors, the Chickens and Ducks at Lang Farms in Farmer City, Missouri. It's from Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 12. It says... Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Thank you, Jason. All right, so uh, if you're familiar with the show, if you're not familiar with the show, you're really confused right now. Uh, let me just explain for a second, explain the bit a little bit. So, Jason, John, and I, we have a, a sports podcast that we do every week called The Crossover. Uh, I mean, we haven't done it for, I don't know, like three months, and before that, we haven't done it for like nine months, so it's not really a thing anymore. But anyway, now you understand the bit. So, uh, if you're familiar with the show, with most of you are, we do a little segment, uh, one of our favorite segments really, what you say? I would say. Yeah. Uh, we call it Starting Fives. Okay. So basically we take a topic, say TV dads, breakfast foods, presidents, and we make a basketball starting five out of them. So, you know, like Abraham Lincoln's your point guard on that list. So uh, now you understand the concept. So we're going to do Starting Fives, John Lang Moments. Okay. Starting Five, John Lang Moments. I'll go ahead and start. So, let's see what time is now. Four p. Okay, so uh, I'm going to start where it all began with my point guard. Uh, you know, that's who you want to leave on the floor, where it all began, you know. So, uh, seven years, four months, 30 days, uh, 22 hours, and about 35 minutes ago. Uh, John Lang, uh, just a tall, lanky kid from Tarkin, Missouri, walked into my basement. Uh, and after that day, my life was changed in the most wonderful and weird ways. <laughs> At point guard, I had that time that John almost hit a girl with his car while we were talking on the phone because I feel like it really sums up a lot of who John is as a person. <laughs> this is a guy, if you are getting behind the wheel with him, you first of all, you want to be the one driving. He needs to be the passenger. But if you get in a car with him, put a helmet on, life jacket, bubble wrap, and then you'll be ready to go. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, at my shooting guard, my two, really an exciting one, one we'll never forget. Uh, it was three years ago when uh, John and Casey, Katie, and myself we took a little uh, nine hour trip up to Milwaukee to watch a basketball game. It's a whole story. Uh, but the side story is uh, on the way up, John relentlessly sang show tunes in the car the entire time, uh, which is okay for a little bit, but for nine hours it's a lot. And it kind of got to the point where we were at the Field of Dreams in Dyersville, Iowa, you know, a little tourist stop, and we kind of thought about maybe just leaving John there to for himself. But I will say, John, I mean, you probably would have enjoyed that, right? Oh, yeah. Field of Dreams, like, come on, that's John's thing. Uh, so, yeah, that's my shooting guard. At shooting guard, I had that, that time that John said that he was going to take a girl on a date to a park, and my grandma made fun of him relentlessly. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Uh, at my small forward, really, uh, the moment that holds the whole team together uh, happened when, and they're kind of taking all the credit for it. I feel like I nudged John in the right direction. Uh, when after a year of Hasten and Katie and myself nudging John to go on a date with the call, he finally doing it. And look where we are now, right? Yeah. That's my small forward. That's small forward. I had that time that we were at John's bachelor party, and he was forced to enter the dunk contest by us. We played in a basketball tournament on nine foot rims for John's bachelor party, and there was a dunk contest. John entered, poor guy, there's all these athletic people in line ready to go. John somehow winds up being first out of all these people for this dunk contest, and he goes up there and misses both dunks. It was good effort though, really good hustle. Good hustle, a lot of hustle. A lot of hustle. Uh, yeah, a lot of hard. Uh, okay, my power forward before the big man, uh, stretching the floor a little bit, is literally every time John and I have been to a basketball game in the last four years, and he gives unsolicited critiques of the referee's technique and position. <laughs> but, I mean, he knows his stuff, so I can't complain. At power forward, I had this one at power forward because I feel like this is a strong indicator of who John is. Yeah. Like, if there's one thing I could tell you about who John is, I would probably share this. All you need to know about John is that at my wedding, he was completely sober, did not have one drink, 
and yet whenever uh, Freebird came on, John played chair guitar for nine minutes of the entire <laughs> song. Empty dance floor, just John with a folding chair pretending it was a guitar, and everybody else watching him. Incredible stuff. Uh, my center, the big man down low, uh, is a new one, but a good one, really. Uh, when literally two days ago, uh, Nicole told me it was my responsibility to make sure John had his fake tooth whenever he came down the aisle because he'd kind of been forgetting lately. But if you know me, you know I can relate to that, so I can't really uh, be critical there. At center, my big man, was that time that John drove up from Springfield to Maryville just to surprise my wife and I, and he hid in the bathroom, and then he came out dancing to Closer by the Chainsmokers. <laughs> And then, because he did that at our wedding, the song that we were going to walk into as they introduced our bridal party was Closer by the Chainsmokers. But John got caught up talking to someone, and it was just really awkward because we were waiting on John to dance to it and, like, lead us in. But then he was just talking, and we were all just standing there wondering what to do. Yeah, right over there. That's all right. Uh, okay, we're going to do coaches, right? Yeah. Get some coaches and do the cut. Uh, so my coach, let me tell you something about my coach. Uh, I'm going with John Lang himself, the guy right here. Uh, let me tell you something. For the last, I mean, most most of the last seven years, um, John's been who I consider my best friend. Uh, you know, and for the majority of that, we've lived either four hours apart or like three hours apart for probably five of those years. Um, and he's still my go-to, my most dependable person, anytime I need counsel, anytime I need advice, anytime I just want to talk to somebody, uh, he's my go-to. And I say that um, not as somebody who doesn't have good friends and like John's the only one. I've been very blessed with some excellent friends. And John, even though he's been in physical distance the furthest one away, uh, he's easily been the most dependable whenever I need somebody. Um, and I think Hayson would agree with that as well. Uh, you know, I haven't met many people in my life who just has more pure joy, uh, just more excitement for life, uh, and it's just more fun to be around than John, and I'm really thankful for that. It's, uh, it's amazing to have a friend who's always there no matter what, and John has been that for me, even though we've been far apart a lot, and he'll always be that for me. Uh, even if there's times when we don't really, you know, see each other or talk to each other on the phone face to face. If it's just in our, you know, three little group chat talking about sports uh, for a month and not really having any significant conversation, I know John will always be there no matter what. Uh, so yeah, uh, just dependable, fun, energetic, loving, enjoy singing show tunes. That's who I got for my coach, John Lyon. <laughs> For my coach, I had Greg Popovich because he really knows how to manage a team. Oh. <laughs> right. uh, so there's starting fives, John Lang editions. Uh, we're gonna have to probably cut the show short, unfortunately, uh, which is a bummer. We're not gonna be able to get to over under's marriage edition. That's the, the line is three and a half, by the way, just so you know. Um, and uh, wanna do some shout outs real quick, end up the show, wrap it up? Yeah, my shout out goes to all the fine people who helped make this special day possible. Thank you all for all the hard work that you put in and all that you've done. I know this day will be memorable for our happy couple. Man, I hope so. And uh, for my shout out, it's got to be the happy couple, John and Nicole. Uh, I, uh, I love you guys. I'm so, so excited for you guys. Um, and I know that no matter what, the strength of your relationship is going to be the crisis in the center. And I've been married for just over a year. Let me tell you, like that has been the most special thing in my life. And I'm so excited for you guys to have that in yours. Um, and I know that you're going to be a blessing to one another and a blessing to everyone you come in contact with. And uh, I'm excited to see what the future holds for you guys. So let's raise our cups to John and Nicole. And uh, we'll see you next time on the crossover.